One of the bread and butter features of Notion is using templates, but don't snooze on a newer feature called buttons. Buttons act like mini templates, and in a lot of ways, they're even more powerful, where I've actually replaced my templates with buttons. So in this video, let me tell you the difference between buttons, templates, and some use cases so you can take advantage of this powerful Notion feature. So here's how templates work. I'm in my PKM dashboard. And if I hover down to recent notes and I go down to the new button here, or if I hover down to this little arrow here, you can see all the different templates I've created and I can click into them and I can also edit them by clicking on edit. But let's just open up the book notes template I have here. I'll click on that and it's gonna pre-populate with the template I've created before. So I don't have to redo everything again. And you can see as I open it up, it set the resource into a book. So it's categorized it already. And then it has my template here. I click metadata, Kindle highlights, and then just jotting down some main points or summaries from that book. So that's the basics of templates. So here's how buttons work. I am in a page called article edit and publish checklist. This is what I use Every single time I'm publishing an article, I wanna go through a specific checklist where I proof the article before I hit submit. So rather than using a template where I have to create a new page every single time, I just bookmark this single page in Chrome. And when I get to it, I just click on this button here called edit checklist. And when I click on that, you'll see that it automatically populates everything I would need for the checklist to publish my article. So I'll go through, I'll check mark everything. I'll make sure I use Grammarly. I use Hemingway editor. I read the article out loud. And once I'm done and I publish my article, I'll just take all of this and I will just delete it. And then I can start all over again, press the button again and repeat it. And I find this to be a lot more simple than creating a template and creating a page and finding it. It's just bookmarked and it's super simple. So here's how to create a button. And it's really simple. You just uh, do the backslash and you look for button. So run custom automations with a click, hit that. And then the dialog box opens up. And then what you'll do is you will, you can do a nice emoji here. So I'll do the uh, briefcase and then I'll call this work note. And then when any of these occur, buttons clicked so we can create an action so we'll add action and there's a bunch of ones you could do here the one i have for my checklist is inserting blocks but you could add to pages and i'll show you this how this works in a moment you can edit pages you can show a confirmation you can open a page and then you can also edit properties and we can use enriched you know formatting that we do in a typical note so we'll do h2 and we'll call this section one and then we will just do some to do to do to do list items item one item two and then we'll change the property so right now the property is nothing we're going to change that to something once we click here we'll just say no type is going to be note now we have set this up so once we click on the button here What's gonna happen is it's gonna insert these blocks and then it's gonna edit the note type, the property into note. What you typically do with a template, but you can do it after the fact, after you've actually opened up the page. So done. And now let's see what happens. I'm gonna click on work note. It's gonna change the note type and it's gonna give me the blocks I've created. So there you go. You could see note type is created and I have this section here. So that's kind of a really basic way to use buttons is to just insert it into a page and use that same block again and again, like I have with my edit checklist. A more advanced way to use buttons is the way I use them here on my homepage, which is my new daily note. So anytime I want to start out my day, I can click on this button here. And this is linked to a daily planner that's actually right here. This is one of the views of it. And what happens is when I click on on new daily note, it's going to insert a new page within that database. So let's click on this gear icon here and see what happens when we click on the button before we do it. It'll add a page to daily note as daily note and it's gonna name it daily note 2023. And then it's going to open the new page added in full screen. So it's not only gonna create the note in the database, but it's gonna give you that full page right away. So we'll click on done here and then we'll see how it works. And I'll hover back to here and you'll see that a new note will be created in this database. So we'll click here and it automatically gave me a full page view of this new daily note so you could see i have a button within a button in this daily note and i can change the title to the date and then i'll click on game plan and this is sort of like a, a brain dump of everything in my head before i start the day i have questions I'll, i ask myself to filter through what's the most important thing to do and then i rewrite them into specific tasks i have a video on this that i'll link below if you want to check this out and then i have another button within the button so this is like the third level button very similar to inception here three buttons and then if i want to have if i have any like task anxiety i'll click on here and then i can have 
more clarity on what items I should do and to kind of unblock myself when I'm freaking out about a task I need to get accomplished. So this is another way to use a button. And I'm going to go back to the homepage here and you could see that this new daily note has been created in that database. It's even given me exactly what time it was when I, when I clicked that button. Another advanced way to use buttons is to actually wrap them around a template. So you don't need to use just templates or buttons. You can use both at the same time. So I'm back in my PKM dashboard here and I actually have a default note that'll basically create me some buttons when I open up a note. So I'm going to full screen this. So it's called default note. And you can see I have something called basic blocks that's inside a toggle. And I really like using this because sometimes I'll create a note and I don't know where I'm going to go with that note. And these are just kind of quick uh, shortcuts that for formatting that I have. So I have a preconditioned database. I have an outline format and I have pros and cons lists that, that are ready to go in a moment's notice. So what I could do is I could just drag this down here. I can click on pros and cons list. You could see I have it formatted here two column view that's automatically created for myself so I can create a pros and cons list if I need it. Let me just delete this. I can also do something like just an, a quick outline, drag this down, hit this. I can hide my basic blocks here. Let me put this back. And I have table of contents. I have sections here. So another way to use buttons is to wrap it around a template. And I like doing this for something like a general note where I don't know where the note's going to go, but I have some basic building blocks so I can quickly put things into a format. The final way I've used buttons with the same concept of using them within a template is for my video checklist. And I have something called a video template version four. So let's create that. So this is a template. We'll zoom on this and you'll see that that there are three different buttons here. And when I'm creating a video for YouTube, I don't want to see every single sequence of things I need to do. I want to do it one simple thing at a time. So typically when I'm creating a video, I'll actually do the title and thumbnail first. So I will insert this here, hit the button here, and this will create a two column view for the title and the thumbnail idea I have for the video. Rather than clicking on a template and having all this stuff populate, it just, it's a lot for me. And this kind of just breaks it down into the different steps or the different parts of the video. So I'll start out with the title and title, uh, ideas and thumbnail and then I'll insert the script template and I'll create that template and then from there once I've created that I've recorded the video then I'll drag this down and I'll upload checklist and that'll come up here and these are all basically toggles so it keeps everything ni nice and clean and tucked away but this is one way I find to make something that's a lot of work into small simple steps and I think buttons do that really well you can do things in a specific sequence so hopefully that explains how to use buttons I I highly recommend that you experiment and start using buttons in your workspace and let me know in the comments below any questions you might have. If you want to continue learning tips and tricks on Notion, I have a video right here on the basics of pages. Take care of yourself and I'll see you guys in the next one.